So what I would like to do is these three panels on the roof, I would like to connect them to this terminal here. So I can switch them individually on and off and also have the positive and the negative. Is this correct actually? Negative. The negative and the positive, negative, positive, negative, positive of each panel separately. So this means we can wire these panels in parallel or in series. And I've used these mountable XT60 connectors here. So they have a capacity of 60 amps each. Well, each panel has only 8.5 amps anyway, maximum current. So this is pretty safe to use. And it was super, super tight to actually mount them behind this switchboard here. You can see I had to, I had to file away parts of the plastic here to make it work. And definitely it's not my best work. See, there's a little gap down there, right there. I messed up this curve here. Well, it doesn't really matter, you know. It, it goes somewhere down here and then it will look similar like this one. And then we have three XT60 connectors at the front and switches. So when they are in parallel, I can switch them on and off individually to have more or less power, depending what kind of experiment we are doing here. And it looks like we are doing a lot of experiments. I probably, yeah, I probably have some white silicon here, which I uh, seal gap. That's fine, it's white. Yeah, I probably use that to cover these little gaps here. Just a little bit, you know, peace of mind. And then these terminals, they are using M2 screws. I haven't used M2 for years. See, they've got this metal nut already integrated in the plastic. So it's pretty good actually. And as always, you find the links to these terminals down below and on my website. And then we've got our female connectors with the cables attached. And then we just can plug them. Ah, oh, they're tight. Can just plug them in. Need to clean this up a little bit. The silicon didn't really help. Now everything is a mess. Yeah, but that's pretty good, right? Ready. Okay, I made this amazing drawing for you. We've got three solar panels and I would like to cable them individually. So positive and negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, coming down separately into this little switchboard here. We've got a switch and then we've got the positive terminal and the negative terminal will be connected directly to the XT60 connectors. So, and then we can either connect all the positives together and all the negatives together and have all these three solar panels in parallel. And then we can switch off individual panels to lower the power or to simulate clouding. And each of these switches, yeah, these switches, they have a capacity of 10 amps each. So they are perfect for our 8.2 amp solar panels. Or we can use them Or we can use all the solar panels in series. So we have the positive of one solar panel connected to the negative of the other one. And then this positive goes to the negative of the other one. And this is our main positive and our main negative. And in this case, we have all three solar panels in series. And we can easily do this with these XT60 connectors here. I have mounted into this. It looks terrible. So we will be very flexible in having these solar panels in series or in parallel. Because depending on what kind of experiment and test we are running, we need a higher voltage or a lower voltage or more amps or less amps. And we can now easily do this with this switch panel. I just need to buy some more ducting here to actually um, get everything so we can run the ducting all the way down to there and then over to the workbench behind the workbench and then we will drill another hole somewhere here and have one of these mounting blocks and then we can start experimenting. I just need to buy all this gear.
Yeah, guys, so far this little video from today um, took me about two hours to build this one actually here. The silicon was not a good idea. As always, thank you very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.